What is going on guys, Tazwava here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Let's just jump- oh jeez, a bunch of rad slimes were about to fall on us right there. Let's just jump right back in because- oh look at that, there's a honey slime right there. We're hopefully going to be seeing that this episode because like I was about to say, we finally unlocked the new area over here last episode after getting kind of honestly kind of scared that I might not get any more slime keys to open up this door over here. We finally ended up opening it and it goes into like a, a place called like the Moss Blanket, which is going to be really cool cool bunch of like trees and stuff like that covering the area but like drop down an area to actually enter that so that's going to be interesting doing this episode maybe just here in a couple minutes but real quick though i do want to continue doing some more missions over here because i meant to remember last episode i was like oh let's do like two or three missions i ended up doing just one <laughs> so let's continue doing more missions over here before we forget again yeah let's do a mochi miles ones instead of a uh, bob because i'm like i did get some comments of you guys saying yeah if you continue doing like the bob stuff you'll get like something cool uh, but if I do like stuff like the Smochi Miles one over here, we're going to get like teleports and stuff like that. So definitely want to continue doing this uh, as well as like the Ogden Ortiz and whoever else we could talk to as well as reading the actual like star mail that we get <laughs> whenever we do get these uh, missions here. So let's let's not forget that. Let's do that here in just a sec as well. But uh, let's choose Mochi Miles here. My toast is in the jam here. Help out, pal. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What do you need? OK. Oh, we actually have that. Two boom slimes and uh, nine pinks uh, plorts. I'm pretty sure we have that. We're going to get two roostros, six odd onions, 19 carrots, and a thousand dollars right there. Uh, What's it called? New bucks or something like that, I believe. And we do have an extra pink slime. Yeah, we got this. I think for uh, opening up some random trace. So that's good. Jeez, uh, look at all the exploding over there. Let's go over here. Let's go drop off this pink slime over here. I suppose if we do the same thing with this rock slime, we could probably just get a little little corral over here. Uh, I'm like, we already have rock. Tabby Lark log over there. I don't know. Maybe we can turn in a, another one into a Tabby Lago or something like that. Still, uh, just under eight minutes right there until. Yeah, I forget how many. Uh, I think we need nine or something like that, right? So we might need a little bit of. Oh well, there is food in there. They're just not eating. They're just not hungry. So we might have to wait a little while. But let's drop off another pink slime. Whoop. There we go. So we have. Oh wait, hopefully that one. Hopefully that new one will actually eat. I don't know if he'll eat this like rotten. Oh wait, one of them just ate like a rotten looking, <laughs> a rotten looking carrot. So that's good. That might have been the one I laid down just a second ago. Yeah, all these other ones though are happy with their mouths open, so they're not really uh, hungry. So, oh wait, hold on this one. Yep. What? He just faces. Oh, hold on, hold on this one. Come on. Yep. Come on, eat. Why are these guys? I know it looks disgusting, but you gotta eat, man. Uh, I need those like twenty carrots like right now so these guys would actually eat <laughs> all right i don't think i could uh i think it's like a one-way thing i can't like extract the pink plorts out of there like a bank or anything like that like storage or anything like that so that kind of sucks uh same timing over here though yep seven minutes right there i did get some comments of you guys saying yeah you don't even need to place those like drill things inside the ranch apparently you can just place them anywhere so might make more sense to place those things uh like i even got comments of you guys saying put the drills in like the quarry area over there so you know that makes you know, more sense than putting it in my ranch. So hopefully we're going to find something really interesting over there. But for right now, I guess if anything, if we if we need pink ports, we could also. Uh, oh, I think I forgot a pink port over there at the uh, the thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess we can just go outside of our base. Maybe feed. Uh... Well, you know what? We have a lot of. Hey, yeah, let's take these heart. I'm thinking those those slimes are over there aren't even hungry. So yeah, let's give these guys a heartbeat. So I'm like, it is their stuff. Boss for slime, rock slime. I guess I'll drop them off. Hopefully this isn't going to be like an invasive species with this rock slime. We're going to produce like tars or anything like that over here if they produce largos and these guys turn into like fall. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I man, I got a pink slime right there. Yeah, let me, uh, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Phosphor slime, put these guys over here where they belong. There you go. I guess we can get some bogo fruit. Get some more pink plorts. Oh yeah, let's read the star. <laughs> I forgot to read the, uh, the star mail for the, uh, for the new mission that we got right there. Let's give these guys some pogo fruit so we get some more plorts. I think we need nine, so we have six, uh, seven, and eight. We're going to get another one around here, though. I don't know, but there should be... Well, that one's not ready to grow, or, uh, not bearing fruit just yet. Any more gold? So oh, wait, hold on. A lot of plorts over here. That's good. That's good. Nice. Grab all those. There you go. Yeah, we have plenty right now, so that's good. All right, well, let's go back, and I suppose we can go read the star mail for, uh, Mochi Miles, or whatever her name was, and see why she wanted these things, as well as... I guess we could read up on, uh... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, they didn't send us any mail for this one. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I forgot... <laughs> I forgot I wanted to read the mail over here for the slime enrichment devices now on sale and the chroma packs now available, yeah. I'm like, it's kind of self-explanatory. We already figured it out at the end of, uh, like, two episodes ago or something like that, where those just kind of customize what color your, your, your vac pack is, as well as your base and all the other structures and stuff like that. 
Uh, but I suppose we can still read it. Slime enrichment device is now on sale. I think that's the toys. Yeah, like the rubber ducky that we got last episode. Apparently that actually upgrades or uh, like increases how many pond slimes you could actually keep in an area without them getting shy and stuff like that. And apparently, if you want to see if they're shy or not, apparently they, they're like blushing. You can actually look at them and see a little bit of red in their face. See if they're actually shy by just looking at them like that. So I suppose we can just go over there and look at them, see if there, any of them are shy. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there and see if we need to take any out or add any more in. Either way, let's read the star mail over here before we forget again. <laughs> Uh, the 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Yeah, I knew this was the Slime Toys one. Slime Toys can now be purchased from the shop we have just installed on your ranch. <laughs> Please excuse the excessive pauses in that last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation and we did not wish for a claim to be inaccurate. <laughs> yeah, so they're just still installing it as they're sending this email. But it's already there, so we don't have to worry about that. They sent it over like two episodes ago, like I said. Uh, the 7Z Corporation. Giving robots time to do their job right, one sentence at a time. The 7Z Corporation. Let's read about the Chroma Pack, so even though we already know about them. Uh, the 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Skylark 1. Yeah, so we got this one before we got the to uh, the toys, so we're at Rolling Beetle 1, I think, right now, or something like that. I don't know. We could check it here in just a sec if you guys really care. <laughs> I'm like, we don't have that much money to buy uh, whatever we need. I think it was like 4K or something like that, so I think we have like 3,000 right now, so yeah, I can't afford whatever the next thing is just yet, unfortunately. Uh, but Skylark 1, with this rank, you now have access to a new avenue of creative self-expression, Chroma Packs. Chrome packs allow you to apply new color schemes to your ranch house, backpack, and ranch tech, allowing you to stand out from all the other ranchers on the far, far range. And while we realize that most slime ranchers never even see another rancher, given geographic separation between rancher properties, we have a feeling that they know. Oh yes, they know. <laughs> Please also note that by the time you have likely read this message, the 7Z Corporation has already installed a Chrome pack terminal just outside of your home. Yeah, we, I saw that as well. It was very noticeable. Whenever we got it. Uh, the 7Z Corporation. Covertly installing machines outside of your home quickly and reliably. <laughs> I love these little mails that we get here. Oh yeah, then the death hike. I don't, I, we didn't read this one yet. It was completely unopened right there. But uh, Oh yeah, and I, I did get also, also some more comments of you guys saying, Casey, you're, it done, it, it, they chose that name because it'd be either male or female. And it's kind of up to you to determine, hey, is Casey a male or a female or whatever. So that's actually interesting. Leave that up to your imagination. Anyways, the death hike from Casey. Hi B, do you remember when you took me hiking? I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing then. Your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes and you were decked out and had a pack and gear. It was a nightmare for me. I think it was around the five mile mark when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized our ideas of fun were two very different things. Also, you weren't even out of breath then, and I still totally hate you for that. Casey, with a little smiley face right there, too. All right, look at that. We're actually uh, up to date on all the star mail right there, so that's good. Anything new on this one again? Yeah, it was 4,500. Yeah, we're rolling Beetle 1 right now, so rolling Beetle 2, we get to Robo Ranger Chroma and Metatron Chroma, which is kind of like a lavender color there, and like, there's a little bit of green there, and like a little bit of silver, and like, beige right there too so i don't know if i want to buy that for 4500 maybe later when we have a lot of money but right now we only have 3k and you know if, if we want to continue loop moving up that ladder there we kind of have to buy that so that kind of sucks but either way uh there you go what time is it right now it's 5 a.m how are the prices doing over here though uh everything went down <laughs> everything except for pink plorts it's, oh wait you know what we need to go drop off those pink plorts how many was it nine and then two boom plorts i don't know why i didn't grab those while i was in the area but uh there you go and oh oh 30 minutes? Man, Mochi Miles doesn't really give a butt about all that stuff. Jeez, she gives us a lot of time. Anyways, yeah, let's make it to Sledge. Let's just go over here and let's go grab those two boom plorts for her real quick. Of course, after I tend to my farm. Put the odd onions up over here. Yep, there you go. Look at all the plorts. Is this... Man, I thought this was full because it wasn't sucking up the plorts anymore, but it almost is. 84 there, 85 there, golly. One of the uh, boom plorts didn't get sucked up, I think. There's a lot of odd onions in there. Let's grab all it. Oh, wait, no, those are crystal plorts. Whoops. Oh, man. Oh, put them back inside there. Let's grab two boom, boom plorts and put them, uh... There you go. Where Mochi Miles' little terminal thingy is. What in the world? How did that get there? What? Hold on. Let me put these back in here. How did the... 
I was wondering why one was missing. I guess one just flew all the way out here for some war. Then again, these guys are exploding. <laughs> so it's, really, it's not really outside of the realm of imagination that one of the plorts just went flying out of there because it keeps on heckin' exploding, which is crazy. But uh, let's go over here. Let's check on this. Yep, they have plenty of food and uh, plenty of room there for their plorts and stuff like that. So that's good. Let's go drop off a rock slime over here at this teleport real quick. Uh, this does let us go back, right? Yeah, 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 that lets us go back, so that's good. So there you go, rock slime there. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm still not just throwing them out into the ocean or throwing them inside of an incinerator or anything like that just yet. <laughs> Maybe later when we get an incinerator, I'll actually can, like, savagely just throw unneeded slimes into the incinerator like it just don't care. <laughs> but for right now, I'm, I'm still dropping them off in their uh, respective regions. Oka Oka, let's drop those off over here. Yep, there you go. Go drop off those boom plorts here in just a sec as well. Might want to go drop off the carrots over here where the pink slimes are, to be quite honest. I don't know if we ever put any food inside their auto feeder things, but I do know their carrots over here are like rotten. So, uh, do they even have a. Oh, yeah, they've got plenty of carrots here. I don't know why I didn't uh, grab any carrots there. How's this doing? Still about two and a half minutes right there. I did get to. Or 245 or something like that. I did get some comments to be guys. Why are they not upgrade this fence? Is that like a completely different upgrade or something like that? Man, they're always wanting to get money out of me. <laughs> uh, but I did also get some comments of you guys saying that I can uh, skip time for the drills and stuff like that, just like I can by coming over here to home and just going to sleep. And of course, just like with the crops and, you know, the prices, all that kind of stuff, sleep until morning and then that will reset or like skip time for all the drills and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, whoop, whoop, hey, oh, jeez. I didn't know it spawned in like a little box right there. That's really cool. Speaking of box, let's get some of these box, box, bug ox over. That was pretty, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> that was really forced. <laughs> oh, let's, speaking of bok, 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 uh, yeah, oh man, uh, we have an elder chick over here. There you go. I did also get some comments of you guys agreeing with my, my, my idea of getting rid of hen hens here and just keeping the, uh, yeah, let me drop this guy off over here somewhere. Uh, of getting rid of the, the regular hen hens and of course keeping the stony hens. Uh, and I even saw some comments of you guys comparing regular hen hens to pogo fruit and to uh, carrots, which is actually a really good uh, little com comparison right there. I didn't really think about that, but I think... Oh yeah, yeah, this was... I was still thinking of leaving two of each in here, but yeah, I definitely want to get rid of the regular hen hens. Because they're a little bit less valuable, and of course we have extra roostros here, but not really that big of a deal. Let's just keep dropping them off over here. <laughs> At least right now. Whoop, there you go. And we'll hopefully get a lot. I'm like, the, the, the tabby slimes over there do eat meat, so they'll eat those chickens and stuff like that. I did also see a really funny comment from one of you guys saying, like, I have a whole entire habitat inside of the uh, the rock slime and tabby slime, like, enclosure there with, like, the chickens and the roostros and stuff like that. Actually, yeah, let's go drop off a couple more roostros over there, because we do need to... Get rid of because we have like five of them if I had to guess right now. And hey, if we put them over here, maybe they're going to breed and spawn a bunch of heckin' chickens constantly. That's going to be good. So two roostros is all we really need. Look, yeah, see, look at this. Oh, whoops. We have six roostros? Well, five. Six extra roostros. We got another uh, stony hen right there. Another one right there. Yep, I think we're good right now. So that's good. Oh, yeah, and of course, that's going to also leave room open for us to get those like briar hen hens or something like that, right? So that's going to be really good, but there you go, a bunch of roostros hopefully going to be, and of course the uh, the stony hens going to be giving us double ports when they get eaten by these guys, so that's good. Uh, you know what, real quick, I, I do need to go over here, go grab all the the, uh, the the crystal plorts, grab all the boom plorts, because I do remember this was getting really close to full, and I would, oh, jeez, and I would not be surprised if that becomes full by the end of the episode if I didn't empty this out real quick, so let me go empty this out real quick. Go put it up in storage, because uh, I don't know if we have that good of a price right now. I did also get some more comments of you guys. See, I'm I'm always referencing you guys' comments. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but I did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, definitely want it. Like, whenever you see a green arrow, don't want to just sell on that green arrow because that means the price is still going up. Maybe higher if you just wait another day and it might be even higher. You know, patience is virtue or some weird... Oh, wait, what in the world? Where does this go? Oh! Wait, where is this at? Wait, what in the world? Wait, what? I'm right there, or something? No, it says location unknown. I guess I'm not even on the map. Ooh, interesting. So now, yeah, just like I said, whenever we do like enough of these missions, we actually, and look at these like pictures of Mo, I guess that's Mochi right there with her slime gun thing. Can I actually see her over here? There was like a mission thing over here, like specifically for her? Lights over here, unfortunately I've got a full inventory so I can't really do anything. What is with this base? Another teleport over here? 
same teleport it looks like there. Looks like an ancient alien like uh, base or something like that. Whoa! This is like a straight up island here. Can I jump? I probably fall off if I'm not careful. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to get a better view. Hopefully none of you guys are sprayed of heights. What in the world is this? That's like a rock with like floating rocks like orbiting around it. What in the... <laughs> oh, whoa, look at that. What is that? There's like a satellite above all of this. Like a mountain over there? So what What do I even do here? Other than like initiate some sort of mission here, which I don't know if I want to do just yet. Because we got a full inventory, so I can't really do anything right now. Just kind of exploring around, seeing what all this is about. Oh, can we even go back? Dude, why is there like a force field here? It's kind of weird. Probably just make sure I don't smuggle anything in or out. Okay, so this goes back. Yeah, okay, so there you go. So that's what that is. That's Mochi Miles. Is, uh, that's what our base looks like. There's the Mochi Miles, like, teleport thing with, like, the floating island icon. Okay, so that's interesting. So what is this? Oh, I thought that was a thing you could... Oh, wait. Man! I guess I don't have... Ac oh, hold on. Probably have to do a mission over here, and then I'll have access to, like, the rest of the island or something like that. But it's kind of weird. You can't even see anything on the map right there. I think you'd be able to, but nope. Look at that. There's, like, actually a floating platform over there. What? There's that satellite dish. Whatever. <laughs> Something down there I can't really see. Oh yeah, I need to go leave the uh, the toy machine. I need to go see that, read the descriptions of that. I need to read the descriptions of uh you know, let's actually initiate this. Yep, there we go. Uh, I need to go read the descriptions of like a bunch of slimes as well. Even more of them later on this episode when we finally go to the uh the moss blanket thing, which I definitely want to do before we end this episode off. We're like halfway through it already. I need to hurry up, you guys. I'm getting really sidetracked here. Anyway, it's Mochi Miles right here. Uh, do we have time to do a mission right now? I don't know if I could cancel it now, it might be too late. Whoops. So you finally decided to show up. Since we're already running short on time, I'll get right to it. Alright, what is it, Mochi Miles? Or Moki Miles? I still don't know. <laughs> You're standing in one of my many estates at the edge of the Nimble Valley, which is the only known home to the very rare Quicksilver Slimes. Ooh. And everything you see here is my property, which means that I alone profit from all the Quicksilver plorts that the Nimble Valley produces. Brilliant, I know. So she's got a monopoly on a specific type of slime. That's not very nice. <laughs> Harvesting Quicksilver plorts is very difficult, and only high-skilled pro ranchers like myself can manage it. <laughs> is this person bragging or what? Yep, that's what I thought. The bragometer says she's bragging. I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. What else is she saying here? But I'm extremely busy, since I've got a ranch to manage and a ton of Miles Tech business back on Earth to run. So I need you to get in there and do it for me. Naturally, you'll be compensated. We want you to be a happy little worker bee after all. Alright, let's give me some good money here for doing a mission for Earth with no inventory space. <laughs> Guess I have to like throw out these pink ports and uh... Oh, even then, I only have two inventory slots after that, because I've got full boom slimes and crystal slime plorts in my inventory still. <laughs> Whoops. Now pay attention, because I don't like to repeat myself. First, you'll notice that I've augmented that junker of a back or a backpack that you have with some cutting-edge Miles tech. This never leaves the valley, so don't get excited. Man, can't take it back to my far, far range area. This augment will activate using patented Miles tech anytime you try to enter the Nimble Valley. It'll swap out your vac tanks, too. But don't worry, you won't lose the junk you had in there. Okay, that's good. So it's going to clear out my inventory already, so that's good. So I don't have to worry about my full inventory right now. <laughs> what else here? Uh, next, take the teleporter to the Nimble Valley and get to work collecting Quicksilver floors. I'll explain things once you get there, but let me give you a quick rundown. The Quicksilver slimes in the Nimble Valley lie dormant until you activate the generator to send out a pulse and get them moving. But this generator only works for so long and then needs to recharge. Quicksilver slimes eat electricity, what? <laughs> and since they're super fast, the only way to get to them is to blast them with a tasty spark shot from your backpack. Ooh. So instead of shooting out water, we can shoot out electricity? What if we go in there and get this upgraded, like, Miles backpack or whatever it's called? Interesting. But don't worry about actually collecting the plorts. I've got the valley rigged with Miles tech that will collect them for you. <laughs> Sounds good to me. After the generator shuts down, head back and deposit the Quicksilver floors here, and I'll be sure you get paid. Alright, sounds good to me. Money talks, so for every 10 Quicksilver floors you deposit, I'll give you a cut of the profits. Collect enough of them for me, and I'll give you an even bigger reward. Ooh. So does this have a time limit or what? It sounds like I could just do it whenever, huh? Like if I ever need money, I could just do a, a Mochi Miles like Quicksilver plort collection thingy and get some money out of it. Sounds like we could just do that whenever. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll start with what I call Mochi's Extra Mile, which is me sometimes giving you the inside scoop on a more lucrative port price. Just don't count on it all the time. We're not friends. Ooh, that's savage. <laughs> Now get out there and collect some Quicksilver plorts for me. And if you're feeling like you really know how to shake it, try the other teleporter to an even trickier part of the valley. Or don't, because you know it would be hopeless. Later, tater. She's giving us a thumbs down and sticking her tongue out. What a savage. Now, does this have a, uh... Oh, jeez. Ten right there, and if I get 150, I get even more. Or I get, like, one respect from her. 200 if I get 10 Quicksilver plot things there. No time limit, though. Oh, wait, no, it already switched out my stuff. Ooh. So is this where I need to go? I think it is. She says go to one or go to the other. So what about this other area over here? And hold on, if I go through this, is this going to change me? Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on. I can go. Oh, I thought I could go through that now. Okay, well, at least that's good to know. I could always come back here and do a little bit later. Because I don't want this episode to it'd be another hour long one or anything like that. Because I'm trying to upload a little bit more frequently. Uh, but at the same time, can't upload, like, hour long episodes every day. That's just way too much time to do. But for now, yeah, let me just <laughs> drop off the boom plorts, crystal plorts, all that stuff that I wanted to do. Originally, uh, somewhere over here, I, I guess in this one? I suppose. I'm like, it doesn't matter. They're all empty. Except for, like, some puddle plorts here or there. So, <laughs> yeah, let me just uh, put up a bunch of plorts real quick. I might as well sell my pink plorts. I'm like, we have a decent, yeah, 17 per uh, pink port right now, so there you go. Even though I do know you guys said, hey, don't sell the, the like, on the green arrow, but I'm like, that green arrow's been green arrowing for, like, multiple episodes by now, so hey, you guys seem to be right in that regard. We haven't sold pink ports in a while, and the price just keeps going up, which is good. So, yeah, let, let, me, let me continue cleaning out these uh, port collectors and putting them up where they need to go. And we can finally go over to the moss blanket and actually see if we can find some of those honey slimes over there, so that's gonna be really good. All right, you guys are back. Man, I just got done. Oh, I thought I saw a heartbeat right there. I just got done putting up a bunch of plorts over here. 164 uh, rad plorts, 50 there, 50 there for uh, tapping rock slimes there. Uh, we got some phosphor plorts there. 96 boom, 95 crystal puddle plorts. We got 30 of those, which is good. We still need to buy a thing there, but uh, man, it's good to actually organize stuff. You know, that way things don't get too out of control over here, but yeah, I remember I wanted to look at the, uh, the slime toys over here, so let's see what they're all about real quick. At least get a glance at them before going over to the uh, Moss Blanket and see what that's all about. We're probably going to be doing the, uh, the mo Mochi Ma- or uh, like the Quicksilver slime stuff over at Mochi- what did she call it? I forgot what she called her area there. But you know, Mochi Mile's like uh, like island area that she has over there. We'll, we'll do that next episode. And just because I wanted to do the Moss Blanket stuff this episode like I promised. So either way, Beach Ball, we actually saw that, didn't we? I wonder what happened to that one. Roos's agitation of nearby slimes, especially pink slimes who enjoy the fun in the sun. Huh. Big Rock. Reduces agitations of nearby slimes, especially rock slimes who obviously don't understand toys. <laughs> this would be a good one. I'm like, we always have food for them, so I don't, I don't really see them getting agitated. So, oh, and then yarn ball. That's probably, yep, probably the same thing for uh, tabby slimes. It says right there, especially tabby slimes, though they don't know how to knit any more than other slimes. <laughs> that's hilarious right there. Uh, Nightlight. Oh yeah, I did get some comments for you guys actually real quick, saying there is like a subtle difference. For these guys over here, you can see like tiger like stripes on them. I guess that's what that is right there because we did get the tiger skin for them last episode. Uh, I feel like I've, I guess we could test that out real quick. Does Tabby already have those little planes there? I might as well disable that secret style so we could actually see. Or at least, yeah, we can see it here. It's just that it's a little, you can see it still has those lines there. Maybe at the top of the head it doesn't have lines for the regular one, but it does for the tiger. I guess we can go look at that. Oh, we have a star mail right now. Whoops, probably should have read that. Uh, any lines at the top of the head? Yeah, some lines at the top of the head, but you can't really see it too well because of the, uh, the rock. Like, coming out of the top of his head right there, which is crazy. But I can definitely see the very subtle differences right there. What are the toys do we have here, though? Nightlight, Reese's Agitations for uh, Phosphor Slimes, okay. And these are all about 400, 300, 450, or, four oh, jeez, 50, 500 right there. Octo Buddy, Reese's Agitations of uh, Scuba Fashion Pod? What? That must be a new thing we haven't seen yet. Rubber Ducky, this is the thing I got comments about for the Pond Slime. Reese's Agitations of nearby slimes, especially Puddle Slimes, who are less shy when a Rubber Ducky Buddy is nearby. So I, I guess we can actually get like a big rock or a yarn ball or both. And we'll actually be able to put more, like, uh, rock and tabby largos in that area over there without having to worry about them getting, like, crazy. Uh, still need to go put, like, music boxes over there, too. I think that's also supposed to help. So, you know, when we have actually, you know, good money, we could actually do that. Uh, the market's about to reset here in just a bit, but I doubt we're going to get very good prices right now. Power cell, that's going to be for rad slimes. 
bomb ball that's for boom slimes, buzzy bee, honey slimes. And uh, is there not anything for uh, crystal slimes? I'm not seeing anything for crystal unless it's also big rock. No, it just says rock slimes. It literally just gives me a big rock for $400. <laughs> that's so, that's such a scam. Let's go back over here though. We did have a star mail real quick. I'm just curious about what it was. Oh, it's a Mochi Miles thing. Uh, I guess we could read it real quick. It's not really too big. From Mochi Miles with no subject because you can't even be asked to put a subject. <laughs> The other ranchers won't shut up about you, and it's starting to get annoying. So let's see what all the fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you. So I went ahead and activated a spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call a ranch expansion. Jeez. The teleporter will take you to my estate. I have others too. Gosh, she just doesn't stop bragging, does she? <laughs> Where we can work out the details. Don't keep me waiting. See you there, Square Mochi Miles. Top rancher. Jeez. Literally just non-stop bragging from her. Anyways, yeah, I probably would. I, I think I got that after doing her mission, so that's probably when we got that me, uh, mail right there. We're probably going to get the same thing here from, like, Ogden uh, if we do that. We definitely don't want to get too many of those at once and, like, get really backed up because we're already backed up on something I want to do. Uh, you know, going over there to the Moss Blanket. But real quick, I, I wanted to go check up on the Rubber Ducky thing you guys were talking about and the Blushed. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at all those plorts right there. We didn't collect plorts for a while for these guys. But might as well suction them up real quick. We can see if we could actually see the, the, the blushing on their face. Which should be really easy to see with these, like, turquoise-looking ones for the, uh, like, the lily pad skin that we have. Let's go grab them. Let's go put them over here where we have, like, what, three or four already? And they already, yeah, they already have the rubber ducky. Which I wonder, can we... Oh, yeah, we can't, like, actually put it in our inventory, but we can, uh, move it around, which is good. If we wanted to put it from this one or put it in the other one or whatever else, but, uh, we've already got two right there. No, 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 no blushing or anything like that on their faces. Three. I did get some comments of you guys saying four is good. That's also something I said like two or three episodes ago when we first got them. Four is a good number. But they also have the rubber ducky right now, so should five be a good number? I think so. Oh, wait, no, 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 that one was blushing. That one's blushing. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, the blushing is going away when they get close to the rubber ducky, though, and they're squeaking. <laughs> can you guys hear them squeaking the rubber ducky? I'm like, they are blushing every now and then, but, like, what happens if I get rid of the rubber ducky, though? There you go. Oh, yeah. Constant blushing. Yeah, look at that. The little red on their faces. This one's, like, not even, like, anywhere near them. He's so afraid. Probably see the, some blushing there if he wasn't facing the wall. Yeah. Okay, so five seems to be the number when you have a rubber ducky. I guess I could just get a bunch of rubber ducky. You know what? Let's put that, like, in the middle where we have the most room for these guys to huddle around it. There you go. Yeah, five is the magic number when you actually have a rubber ducky, which is good. What if we can continue adding even more? And, uh, oh, dang it. That one has blushing. Well, it went away right there. Hmm. I guess they just need to get near the rubber ducky, and that kind of resets their blush. Like, shyness, nervousness, whatever it is right there. I uh, suppose we can go get another pud puddle slime and go, or, you know, this other one. Put him over here. And I believe four was the magic number, right? So we should be fine with just four, and then add a rubber ducky, and then we go to five. So that's really good. Uh, but let me go put up these puddle plorts that we got, because we got a lot of them right there, which is great. And there you go. And let's go over to the moss blanket. So that's going to be right, yeah, right back over here. <laughs> Real quick, hold on, yeah. Do we have an upgrade over here? I know we've got some money. Oh, yeah, the treasure. I forgot to get that. 4,500? Allows you to bypass a long some basic treasure pods. So the green ones? So... Oh, well, the market just reset. See if there's anything good. There's still some red arrows there. Puddle plorts went up. Uh, honey plorts went uh, up as well, but we don't have those yet. We're going to get them, hopefully, here in just a bit. Uh, crystal uh, plorts went up as well. Pink ones went down. I guess we could sell some of the crystal ones. Uh, or you know what? The puddle ones. We don't get too many of them. Let's get the puddle ones, sell those, and then we're going to uh, like continue to accumulate them for multiple episodes until we sell them again. So hopefully the price can recover after all this, right? So, Oh, what in the... Oh, we had... Oh, I didn't know I had that many. Wait, hold on. What? Ooh, it's like getting suction back in there. I didn't know I was able to do that. That's interesting. There you go. Those 50 little floors. I guess we didn't lose any right there. Hopefully we didn't lose any. Well, let's, I guess we'll sell these, get some money out of it, and uh, we'll be able to afford the treasure cracker, open up any, like, green treasure pods, finally see what's inside of those things. Oh, yeah, and I did get some comments for you guys saying that whenever we sell, or whenever we see like a box with like a bow, like a pink bow or whatever, that's always going to give us an ornament because it's like a little present, you know? So definitely want to keep that in mind every time we see one of those. But let's get the treasure cracker for basic treasure pods. Boom! Got that for 4,500. Jeez. Uh, but that's going to be really good, especially in this new area we're going to go to here in just a sec. Hopefully find what's inside of these little treasure pod things. So let's actually go to this area. Oh, did we ever read this one right here? 
This H? I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket, hey, that's where we're going, all over the ground, just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging around those things. H. Ooh, what was his name? Hob? Hobson or something like that, I think. That's what it stands for, H. This takes us to the tabby slime right here. Of course, we to go across this bridge. we like, bear oh yeah, these angry little phosphor pink. I don't even know. They're well, yeah, they do look phosphor there, but I don't know why they're so angry at me. I have a special name for them. Pink phosphor. Yeah, see, it says the same thing. I don't know why they have such an angry face at me for no reason. I know, let's go back over here now to the uh, to the door, and then we have to like travel up, and then we like have to drop down or something like that to actually enter the moss area over here. So let's go inside. Probably not spend too much time over here, like actually uh, doing anything other than you know capturing honey slimes, getting plorts, all that kind of stuff. Oh, can we actually go up? Oh, we might be able to actually go back up that pink slime right there, tabby slime, chickens, hen hens, boom slimes. A lot of familiar faces here already. Another H right there. Lar or, uh, what do you call it? Phosphor one there, P probably, pu yeah, Puddle Slime right there, boom, you know what, I'm not going to grab that. Although, you know what, we could grab him, and then, yeah, you know what, let's grab him. But not, not as plort, because we don't, we don't need that plort. We could already make plorts at home, and I don't want, I don't want to have an inventory slot taken up by something we, we can already get a lot of. So, is there anything, is there Q-berry? Yeah, those are just Q-berries, nothing too crazy there. Guess we can continue adventuring here. Is this update of the map? No, I hadn't updated the map just yet, ooh. What about over here, though? Oh, jeez. Oh, I was wondering what that effect was right there, but yeah, he was just charging up for a big old boom. Now, we're going to see those honey... Well, then again, it's nighttime right now, so probably not going to see honey slimes unless it's daytime, huh? Which isn't too far away. It's only 3 a.m. right now. Oh, here's the big mushrooms we just read about from H. You wanted to attract those hunter slime things? Maybe we could find some of those near... The and speaking of H, there's another one right there we should probably read. Probably going to find hunter slimes, honey slimes. Whatever else. You know what? Let's read this one. It's relevant. We're like near here. And it's relatively short. It takes like 10 seconds to read. <laughs> the moss blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact is that much of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this land. At this rate, I reckon that it won't be long before the greenery completely overtakes the far, far range. Ooh, so it's like spreading super duper fast. Are we going to take over the yarn? Oh, that's for the uh, tabby slides. Yep. Just like we saw the uh, the beach ball on the beach last episode, yarn ball just out on the out in the open right there. I don't know if I can make this jump. It's like limiting how high. Oh, there we go. Oh, treasure thing here. Can I finally? Yes, it's green. I can open it. What's inside? Mossy tree blueprint. What? A deep lit, deeply verdant tree found within the tangled thicket of the moss blanket. Huh. So could I just place that on a on a on a plot or whatever you'd call it? I guess so. Yeah, look at this. Oh whoa! Oh, this guy just spawned in right there. Cool. Oh yeah, I guess I can. Oh, I was about to say give him a Q-berry, but yeah, he eats meat. <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm not seeing any any. Well, they, like I said earlier, in. probably going to be coming out at daytime whenever we see the honeybees or honey slimes or whatever they're called, bee slimes. I think it's honey slimes. But also should be finding those hunter slimes. Oh yeah, let's w watch out for, uh... Is this a briar? It is! Briar hen- What in the world? Well, I might as well grab these guys, put them inside of our coop. Very valuable. Because those are the preferred food for, what was it, boom slimes or crystal slimes? I forget which one. But I know it's either one of those. So there you go, we got at least two right there, which is great. Any extras are going to be awesome as well. I knew that chicken looked very off from the other chickens we've seen, so that's good. Ooh, what is this? E to activate, what does it do? Oh! Oh, look at that! Fills in the whole entire- Oh, we can get two slime keys here? Cool. All right, I assume that's what that is. We got one out of 20 treasure pods there, awesome. And... Oh, what is that big tree? Can I- Oh, there's like a bridge like right here I can go to, so that's cool. I haven't seen any uh, Gordos just yet. There's like another island right there. Here's the entrance area we came in. There's that puddle area where we found the puddle slime. This goes into a- uh, yeah, that probably goes to a slime door, or a slime key door that we need to go to. It goes to the ancient runes or whatever. Oh yeah, once we get a uh, honeybee... Oh, and there's our home teleport right there. Once we get a honeybee, or a honey slime, or port, whatever, we could finally open up the ancient door, you guys. So that's going to be good. We got four briar hens. I saw a briar chickadoo or whatever right there, too. Nice little unintentional mini rhyme right there. Floating li Hey, we got a star mail from Casey. Again. 
wonder what uh, Casey has to say about us this time. What, what, we, oh! Whoops, just launched a chicken out. Well, we already have three. <laughs> but wonder what uh, weird memories Casey's going to bring up for us now. I guess we'll find out here in just a bit once we go back home and read the star mail. Maybe, maybe read that two or three episodes from now or something like that. You know, just being realistic here. <laughs> but it is turn of the daytime right now. It is 5.30 a.m. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Well, it's not zooming in for me, but it looks like it could be. Oh! Honey slime! We got him! Pink Boom Largo! Ooh, I was wondering why these guys looked a little bit more pink than usual. Interesting that they look like that. Yeah, it looks like the honey slimes are starting to come out. We found one, finally. I want to get at least one. Or, uh, one more. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect! Ni oh, nice, even more! Oh my gosh! I got comments from you guys saying, once I find the, the honey slimes, I should just call them syrup slimes. That's what I'm probably going to end up doing. More syrup slimes, slurp that up! Oh, yeah, have yeah, you guys ever... What is this? Mint mangoes. Intensely sweet with a cool minty finish. Oh, and another uh, green one we could open up here. Ooh! I was about to say, have you guys ever had honey on pancakes or waffles? It's really, really good. A decorative lamp housing a happy slime. <laughs> Amber slime lamp, so we could have either a uh, pink like a lava lamp or like, I guess, a honey lamp. You know what? That fits us better. Honey slash syrup lava lamp. <laughs> I guess we might- What in the world happened to that guy? Oh, he died because it just turned to daytime. Yeah, because he was half phosphor. Yeah. So now we have the mint mangoes. We could actually grow those. Those are like pogo fruit or uh, cuberries. They're fruit. So we could use those as a... Uh, a fruit for whatever likes fruit. I'm getting really distracted here by like a new environment. Oh, oh, there's a uh, a secret skin there. That's what that is. I remember. That's what the glowing there was. Oh, another H. Oh, oh, oh no, no! Save us, save me! Oh, go here, go here. Oh, jeez. I did not. I need to look like ahead of like where I'm walking. Oh, oh I made that. All right, let's read this other H over here. Jeez. Getting distracted by the H's over here, you guys. Trying to read them for you, and I almost died because of it. <laughs> I highly advise you. Well, hey, thanks for telling me after the fact there, H. H, H, H Hobson, I think your name was. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. What about what is behind? What, what I needed to get here in the first place, right? Like, I almost fell down here <laughs> and died because of you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the land is all broken and twisted, and there's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you into the sea. Ooh. Keep those peepers peeled. H. I need to start. I need to go look it up. I think it's Hobbs. Oh, what is that? Oh, those must be. Oh my god, what in the world? What? Wait, what? Honey Hunter. Oh, it's like camouflage. Ah, there we go. I was about to say, like, what in the world? Oh my gosh, even more of them. Honey Hunter Largos. There's more of them in the back. I guess they turn invisible when you get near them. Hold on, how was I? Yeah, I'm able to push them like that. Yeah, have fun in the water there, Hunter. You're not going to be hunting me now. You're becoming the hunted. There you go. Man, I'm a savage. At least I'm not dying over here, right? As I say that, like, <laughs> trying to jump over a thing, probably almost dead. <laughs> if I'm not careful. Jeez, thankfully I have a jetpack here, though. Oh, yeah, wasn't there a uh, secret skin somewhere? Probably for the uh, honey slime. Watch, it's, it's going to be to turn a honey slime into heckin' syrup. That's going to be amazing. Let's go over here. Where is that? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, I have to go up to go over there. Ooh. Hold on, let's wait for my stamina to go all the way. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go up here. This is a lot smarter. <laughs> this is this is better. Starting from a higher elevation. Yep. There you go. Oh, there's a purple one right there. I don't know what tier that is, but we're able to open up green treasure pods right now. Not the uh, the purple ones yet, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, can I make this? I think we can. Yeah, we got plenty of stamina. Open up this secret skin pod. What's it going to be? Cheshire. For what? Is that... No, it's not for a tabby. It looks like that... that Morgana from Persona. <laughs> oh, that looks so weird. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that this? Pink tabby longer? No. I was about to say, like, is that specifically full? Oh, wait, no, this is it right here. No, that's a boom uh, tabby. I was about to say, that'd be weird if it's a secret skin specifically for a, a mixture, like a Largo. Although that's probably what it is. A boom slime right here. You look like a tar whenever it explodes, of course, because it's all gray. Oh, more briar hands up here. Yeah, let's get that fourth one I wanted to get. <laughs> and I'm not seeing anything else new here. So we found two new slimes. We got the mint mango, we got the puddle. I I I'll drop the puddle slime if we're able to get a uh, 
Oh, another H right there. If we're able to get a uh, hunter slime. If we're able to get one without like it being a Largo, which is what we've only we've only seen the Largo version so far, uh, then I'll definitely have to get that. Yeah, I guess we'll need, read another H over here. Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? Makes you feel all achy inside, like a day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realigns your thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't. Changes you entirely. Can't recommend it enough. Yeah, aren't we, uh, Casey's our uh, significant other right now? So, hey, looks like Beatrix has found love for, which is great. More advanced treasure crackers. Were, yeah, for, uh, like, a, a blue and yellow or whatever this is. I, I need to see, like, what the tiers are, because we're at, like, bottom of the barrel at tier one for the Oh, man, we got, we got uh, Tars. We can only up, open up the green ones, as you guys saw. And we've only, or we've already opened up two of them, which is great. I can still hear the tar music. Or it just takes a second. Yeah, it just takes a second to go away. Okay. So what is this a direction, though? It seems like the actual way you're supposed to go, which is good. Oh, you... Ooh. Another treasure pod right there. Higher, higher, uh, advanced treasure pod. Zip. Can I go up this? Oh, barely. There's a tree stump right there. Up. Oh, it didn't even need the jetpack right there. Up. Oh, it didn't need it there either. Cool. So we're... Oh, this is, yeah, this is where we drop down, yeah. It's where we drop down to get the honey slime, because we saw it. And I was like, oh, that's got to be it right there. Yeah, there's another uh, treasure pod that we unlocked. But somewhere over here... Yeah, over there, that's where we saw the hunter slimes. Let's keep going, let's go this way. Can I make that jump over there? What's over there? Uh, not much of anything. Oh, uh, if we continue going this way, we find the uh, home home thing. Home teleport. We can probably just skiddly don dad lawn out of here. So I guess we'll continue going forward instead of going to that. Go this way, see if we can find more honey slimes. And if we can- Oh, oh! Another hunt, another syrup slime right here, you guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. Honey slimes acquired. Hold on, I think we're- Oh wait, oh my gosh, I can't swim because I don't have stamina. Whoops! I did not know- Is this really not a thing? I can't swim? Uh-oh. I'm walking at the bottom here. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I thought I was, like, dead there. If I didn't have- Oh! Almost died right there, too. <laughs> Jeez. Just carrots and other stuff over here. And there's the home teleport right there, yeah. Oh, and there's another tele... Yeah, there's two tele... Wait, what? Oh, it's another uh, secret skin thing. Let's see what's inside. And we got royal jelly. Ooh, that's gotta be... Yeah, look at that. The honey slime at the bottom just switched to the purple royal jelly. <laughs> Man, I was hoping we'd get, like, syrup. Or, well, it kind of already does look like syrup, to be quite honest. Uh, but either way, I'm like, while we're here... I really want to get... Well, we don't really need more mint mate. We just need one to start a farm, obviously, right? But I want to at least get the hunter slime. At least one. To, like, start, you know, getting plorts and all this kind of stuff. We can worry about making Largos for him a little bit later. But all I can see is the Largo the hunter slime over here. Can't see any default... Here, you go. Wait for the stamina. Like, straight up hunter slimes. And I know they get, like, camouflage over here, which is really interesting, too. So it's going to be really hard to try and find one. Oh, yep, here, here they are. Oh! Boom, Hunter ones there. Oh my gosh, this is really dangerous. You can only barely, yeah, look at them right there. Boom. Blurs, that's all you could see. Oh, we have a box. That we could actually get what's inside. Oh, oh, the, uh, I think that's the Hunter slime. That, that, like, pink cat skin or whatever right there. Ooh, got a little bit of money. Got another mango thing right there. Yep, mint mango. Got another one right there. Cool. Yeah, it's gotta be for the Hunter. So we already got the secret skins for both new slimes over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, jeez. I'm just not seeing any, like, default ones, you know? I don't know if I have to go up higher or... Do they only spawn in Largos? Or am I, am I too late here? I kind of want to go over there. I might be too late. Yep. I might be too late to where these are already... Kind of like whenever, like, the pink slimes all combined together with the, uh, the Phosphor Largos. This was a bad idea, by the way. <laughs> Uh, after a little while, they're all just pink slime and, and, and rock slime and pink slime Largos. Everything, just, after a while, everything just becomes Largos if you're not fast enough. I think that's what happened here. All these guys became Largos because they just hung around the area for too long. I just want to find one, though. Sure, there's got to be at least one. Are these? No, these are not. Yes, yeah, see. Yeah, these are all Honey Hunter Largos and stuff. I'm not seeing any actual hunter. I'm almost dead too. I need to watch out. Jeez. 
Another briar hen area here, I think. Yep, grab both of these guys. Oh, there's some stuff up there I could probably get. Ooh. More stuff over there. What's that? Ah, uh, not much, I guess. I want to go up there. Look at that. You can see birds flying around and stuff. Look at that. Pretty cool. I don't know if I can make this jump here, though. Probably out of there. Whoop. Oh, make the jump. Oh, we did. Uh-oh, oh, 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 we're on the... Oh, it's not letting us. It's not It's not letting us stay there. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that guy's going to land in water and die. No! Oh, yep, yep. He landed. <laughs> he landed in water and died. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, where does this go? Yes, do I have seen a singular Gordo? How, how have we gone through an entire area now and not seen a single Gordo? I don't know, but I kind of want to go home now, you guys. I don't know how long the episode is, by the way, because I like recorded two parts so far. So I, I assume I need to end it sometime soon. <laughs> but uh, oh, this is all new. Oh, man, more boxes there. Uh, ornament box right there. See that? That one right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, I saw I didn't have stamina there for a second. Oh, man. Oh, well, there's another treasure pot right there. I might as well open it up. But yeah, up there, we're going to get an ornament box. Oh, what in the world? Oh, that's stuff that we need for, uh... Okay, I guess I'll get rid of the puddle slide. Yep, have fun in the water. <laughs> that's what we need for a uh, hexacomb. Bee stuff and geometry, the cho chocolate and peanut butter of nature. <laughs> so we got some of those, which is good. But somewhere up here was a box with a bow on it or a ribbon or something like that yeah see this one if we open up that one you guys said yeah that one's gonna they're always going to give you ornaments unlike that one over there yep that's going to give us some other trash so oh geez spawn with a pink sign spawning right beneath me that was cool all right so i guess we've basically discovered uh, the whole area here haven't seen a single gordo i'm like if anything it's probably hidden within a cave or something like that to be quite honest there's a pink one down there, or a pink treasure thing down there I need to open up, but not high enough level for that just yet. Hmm. Oh, jeez, explosions. Oh, that's the home teleport, right? Oh, cool, awesome. All right, well, man. No Gordos, nothing. But at least we got the mint mangoes, honey slimes, briar hen, hexa hexacomb. Got a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, we didn't get any honey uh, or a hunter slimes here, but hey. At least we got some pretty valuable stuff in the end there anyways, so I'm not going to complain about that one bit. So I assume, um, you know what, I might as well read about the honey slimes. I assume I could keep them outside, like you don't need to be inside. I assume, you know, with the, uh, the trees, like maybe guarding them from the sun, maybe they'd be fine, but I'm like, it's a bee, right? So, uh, favorite thing is mint mango, perfect. Need to go grow that somewhere. Uh, it eats fruit, and we might as well read the slimeology of it real quick before we end off the episode. I need to read all this other stuff over here too, because I forgot. Oh, slimeology for the honey slime. Honey slimes are an odd breed of slime composed of a hyper sweet slime compound. Most slime scientists believe this to be the result of their slime cells replicating the natural sugars found in the fruits and floral nectars of the far, far range. Most rangers agree their plorts taste great on cereal. And hopefully they're sponsored by Tony the Tiger with frosted flakes. They're great. Be sure to give me that sponsorship, Kellogg, for saying that. <laughs> Rancher risks. The greatest danger a honey slime possesses is found in their plorts. Honey plorts are the sweetest, most delicious plorts known on the far, far range. Other slimes can detect them from much further away than a normal plort and will do everything in their means to get them. A rancher with honey slimes need to be careful about unintended largos or worse. Ooh. Well, thankfully, we have these corrals over here to, you know, keep everything nice and separated, so shouldn't have to worry about that. But I wonder what we're going to make a largo of over here. I doubt we could actually like carry a Largo like through a teleport and bring it over here, you know, like a Hunter Slime and Honey Slime uh, Largo, bring it over here. I don't know if it goes through a teleport maybe we could test it out a little bit later, but let's read about the Plortonomics to see what they do with the Honey Plorts. Honey Plorts are highly prized by food manufacturers. Though the Plorts are naturally incredibly sweet, the discovery that they could be further refined into an even sweeter substance made their demand soar. These refined Honey Plorts are said to score an unprecedented 867 on the Werner Tompkins Hong Secrino scale, just a few points shy of not fit for human consumption. Jeez. I assume there's some sort of scale for like sweetness, like I guess this is just sweet enough to not be too sweet, but still like about as sweet as you can get without it being like illegal to eat this. <laughs> so that's interesting, or at least like the refined version of the other uh, plorts here. Uh, nothing sweeter than a recently produced plort of honey. 
<laughs> all right, well, there you go. We read about the, the honey slimes right there. Nothing nothing about them. Like, oh, they need to be... Oh, might as well put them over here because it's already high walls and stuff like that. Put a hair... Put an air net over here, not a hair net. <laughs> put an air net over here real quick. Lip, there you go. Auto feeder, definitely want that. Already have the uh, port collector, I believe. And music box, I guess we do that. Uh, great reduces slime agitation. Yeah, you know what? I guess we'll get that. Oh, man, should we? Because we do need some money to make... Oh, yeah, we never put anything over here, did we? Yeah, so hey, look at this. This is perfect for the mint mango. Whoop. There you go. Growing that. Let's upgrade this if I can. Sprinkler, 500. Yep, let's do it. Boom. We already have the nutrient soil, so that's good. So there you go. Oh, wow. Look at that tree growing in real time right there. That's crazy. We already have some mint mangoes growing. That's crazy. All right, well, that's good that we have that tree growing so close to where we're putting these uh, honey slimes. I honestly, I, I love the royal jelly skin here, but I like the honey skin better because, you know, it looks like syrup. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your guys' favorite skins that we have up here? Royal Jelly versus the regular Honey. We got the Tiger versus the Tabby Cat. Rock Slime versus the Metal, like, Slime. Eh, I, I prefer the blue Rock Slimes. The, the radiation over here of the Rad Slimes, like, being extra glowy versus just regular green. I kind of like the extra glowy versions of them, of course. Because, <laughs> you know, they're radiated, or radiated, so it makes sense for them to be extremely glowy like that, right? Uh, let's get, speaking of such, yeah, let's go over here, let's go get them some Oka Okas, because I see some of them are really upset, because they haven't been fed in a while. Oh yeah, let's go, uh, let's go put the mint mangoes over here. Should I do that? How many do I have right here? One, two, three. Or should I wait until... Hmm. Should I get a radiation, uh... Honey Largo? Maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think I should Largo with these honey slimes over here? And yeah, look at that. Their plorts are still like honey, like colored right there. So yeah, I I'm definitely going to have to go change their, uh, oh, oh, one of them's going to, oh, oh, did he, he ate that or at least it looked like it, but he didn't, nothing came out right there. What? Oh, easy. Oh, there you go. Oh, I guess he failed to actually eat that. There you go. He ate him right there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let, let me go change your skin to honey so it looks like syrup. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what, what styles over here you guys like. Do you like the classic pink or the sparkly pink? I prefer the sparkly one. You guys like the classic rock or the heavy metal rock one? I like the classic. Tabby slime, I like the tiger versus the tabby. Rad slime, classic versus radiant. Love the radiant. Extra glowy there. Uh, hunter slime. So, oh! Oh, what in the world? So it goes from like a cat, like a meow roar thing. Oh wait, what in the world? Why was it like really deep, like low pitch right there? That was really weird. Honey slime over here. Of course, you guys know I, I prefer the classic. It looks like syrup, but at the same time, the world jelly with that crown looks really, really cool, especially the purple too. I like that. Puddle slime, I love the lily pad versus the classic there. It looks like just water. Uh, gold slime. <laughs> I wish I could see them a little bit more than just in this menu, but you gotta admit the gilded one there with the like the wings there looks really really cool. And I don't, oh, geez, there's a lot of slimes I still have yet to see. Golly, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about any of that. Uh, oh, whoops, Casey the van. I guess we could read this real quick because I just opened it up. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Casey says, "Haha, it wasn't that bad. You just don't have the fortitude to make it as an artist, I guess." Beatrix LeBeau can climb a mountain before breakfast, but can't spend a few days in a <clears throat> modestly accommodated, breaks down only half the time, vintage touring van. <laughs> you were so miserable. I still laugh about it, but I really did appreciate it for those few days. It was great to have you in the crowd. That van still runs, by the way. Casey. P.S. Uh, that was a lie. The van literally caught fire while we were driving it. It died like a Viking. <laughs> Yeah, like they, 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 they like send off Vikings like on a, on a little ship and then like light it on fire or something crazy. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I'm glad that we read that star mail right there, which also means we read all of our star mails. We're really caught up on that, so that's really good. Hexacomb, what do I, do I put up in storage over here? I guess. Like, I don't know what else to do with it. There you go. I, I guess I can put it up over there at the, uh, the, the thing, the, uh, the... What's it called? The Fabricator or something like that, I believe. But yeah, I guess I'll put it up in storage at least right now. Give these guys all a bunch of Oka Okas. And they'll give me a bunch of rad uh, ports and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll definitely have to start ending the episode like right now, you guys. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new video of Slime Rancher comes out so you never miss an episode 
because like I said, we're uploading these videos a little bit more frequently. So if you hit that bell, turn on post notifications, you'll be notified as soon as a new video comes out and you can comment first on it just like everyone else does, right? <laughs> but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'm going to go over there by my, uh, my slime, my syrup slimes over here, that is. <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there. <laughs> Look at all these little globs of syrup just bouncing around. <laughs> oh, bye there.